questions you have to ask yourself is, did anything change in the home? Dozens of PG&E customers are writing in saying they're seeing higher prices on their gas bills. Some more than doubled than what they were just months ago. So why are customers seeing these big jumps in their bills? CBS 13's Macy Jenkins joining us now and hopefully going to help us uh, try to figure this out tonight. Well, Christina and Sam, PG&E tells us prices went up by an average of $7 per month last year. The company says combine that with a harsh winter and you get higher gas bills across the region. But I sat down tonight with a consumer advocate who explains what you need to learn to read your bill correctly, understand if you're using more power or if there's some kind of mistake. From Roseville to South Sacramento, many PG&E customers are worried about their bills going up, but many customers like me don't always know how to read the bill. Is there any benefit to knowing what all of this means? Ana Montez with Turn.org, a utility watchdog group, says customers won't recognize an error if they don't know how to find it. So you want to always look at these that compare this month to this month. That's the same month a year ago. The next step, take a look at the total number of therms you've used in a given month. It's a way of measurement. Put simply, a therm is a unit of heat in your gas. It's like a watt on your electric bill. And each household has a certain number of therms they can use that the company determines is an average for each of the four tiers of gas usage. So the baseline is based on where you live. And the climate. Montez explains there is a strategy PG&E hopes you'll use to control your own personal power use. When people stay within tier one, that's your lowest cost. But if they use more therms than they're allowed in tier one, the cost per therm goes up. We took a look at this bill together. The customer was on vacation for half of this billing cycle, but the bill is only a few dollars cheaper than it was in the same month last year. That was still a lot if they were gone. I would say that this is something where a person definitely needs to call the utility company to come out and look at the meter. Montez says if your bill is 25% higher than last year's bill at the same time, a billing error isn't out of the question. Of course, it's important to factor in changes in your home that could affect your gas usage. And you can't compare your bill to your neighbor's bill unless you have exactly the same appliances, you have the same house, you have the same number of people living there. Now, what you can do if you're concerned about your bill, call PG&E directly and have them explain any changes you're concerned about. Later this year, new law means the four-tiered system changes to a two-tiered system, bringing down the cost for people who use a high amount of energy in their homes. Okay, we now know how to you know read the bill, but we got to point out here, Macy, that PG&E did not respond at all on camera on this, and we got a lot of people who have written us saying their bills went That's way, yours. way up. Right. So there's something going on here that they have to explain. All right, thanks very much for that.